Hi guys, I'm Patricia and welcome back to our dance channel. I hope that you guys are all staying happy, healthy, and active during this hard time. And we're here to make your day a little bit more better and to teach you a little something about dance. So every week we're gonna be making a video with my group mates, Anissa and Elise. We're gonna be making a video to show you guys to teach you some dance moves. And I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy it and have fun and dance with us. So this week I will be showing you five fun and easy ballet positions just to start you guys off that people all around the world do all the time. They use these positions and you can do them by yourself or with your family members and become ballerinas maybe one day. Um, so let's get into it. So here are some things that I find very interesting about the history of ballet. The first ever ballet performance was in Renaissance Italy in the 15th century. That's like a long time ago. Um, and then it came to Paris in the 16th century. And in 1776, there was a theater opened in Russia, which is now known as the biggest theater for ballet in the world. And it is called Bolshoi Theater, which translates into big theater in English. Um, it was opened by a prince named Pieter, and now it is the biggest theater for ballet. And a lot of people from all over the world go there all the time to watch people perform. And yeah, that is very, very cool. Both boys and girls can be ballet dancers. A girl ballet dancer is called a ballerina and a boy dancer is called a danseur. So I'm going to show you what they wear to perform in right now. So I don't have a I don't have any thing that So I don't have anything that a male dancer would wear, but I can just explain it to you. It's basically leggings and a leotard and costumes as well. They go crazy with costumes when they're about to perform and they look wonderful. So he wears tutus and did you know it takes up to 90 days to make one single tutu that is crazy so they come in all different colors so this one is red and white and you just put it on and yeah and this one is pink and blue and then they also wear a leotard so this is what a leotard looks like and you just put that and then with the tutu and you're ready to perform ballet flats. So there's different types of shoes that ballerinas dance in and these are the ballet flats but there are also point shoes. So those are for advanced dancers but usually ballerinas go through two or three of these shoes a week because they dance so much that the shoes break and they have to get new ones so i'm so we're going to start out with our feet together and then we're going to take our feet and put them heel to heel like this this is called the first position in ballet and yeah So the next position is the second position and you're just going to take your right foot and slide it over and make sure your feet are two inches apart. It is just like the first position except your feet are apart. So I'm going to give you a second to do it. Good job. You're doing it. So the third position is we're going to take our toe, make sure it's pointed, our right foot, and we're going to bring it in to our left foot. So your right foot should be right in front of your left foot and your heel should be right in the middle of your foot. So the next position is the fourth position. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our right foot and we're going to point our toe and then we're going to bring it in the front of your left foot and it's the same thing as the second position except this is the third position just like it and your feet are apart let me turn to the side so you guys can see better there you go so 
So the last position is the fifth position, and in my opinion, it is the hardest. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our left foot and we're going to put it like this to the side. Then we're going to take our right foot and we're going to take it and put it right in front and make sure that your toes are touching your heels. So this does not have to be perfect. It takes practice. Mine is definitely not perfect, but I believe in you. You can do it. Good job. So before we go, I have a few questions for you guys to answer. So the first question is, can you name the five positions that we learned? So what are the names? I'm going to give you a second to answer that. So if you got it, we're going to move on to the next question. So the next question is, what was your favorite position? Was it one, two, three, four, or five? I want to know what your favorite position was. So after that question, we have what other dances can you do use these positions in? And the last question is what other dances are you interested in? So salsa or contemporary or ballroom, what, what dances do you like or modern? There we go. There are our five easy and fun ballet positions. I really hope you guys did it with me and had as much fun as me and really enjoyed learning a little bit something about dance with me. Please come back next week for more dance videos and I hope that you guys are staying happy and healthy. Bye!